What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. This is another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Um, this video we're going to show you how to transfer media easily between different timelines, different projects um, without having to use copy and paste because I know it sucks having to use it. Um, it. There's always a lot of problems using copy and paste. So this is a way easier way to do it using power bins. Um, before we get into it, if you're new, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button. Also, turn on them post notifications so YouTube tells you whenever I come out with a brand new video. Now, with all that said, let's hop right on to DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you how to use power bins. Okay. Um, I just got a generic little test video set up here. And what we're going to do first thing is come up to the view tab all the way up here at the top. We're going to click on that and come all the way down to where it says show power bins. Make sure this has a check on it. If it doesn't, all you got to do is click it and it'll be on there. Okay. After that, we're going to make sure that media pool is selected at the top left. Um, you might have a different setup depending on how you got your media pool and everything inspector tab. But most people, it's going to be up here on the top left. Um, once the media pool is selected, you're going to look for power bins. It might look like this for you. Could be all the way down here. Okay. But mine's right here. Um, then you can right click here and do new bin. Um, I already got bin one is my new bin. Okay. And all you got to do is come to your master again whatever clip you got up here that you want in the power bin you just click and drag and move it to bin okay then when you click on bin one you see you always have it in here right um this is great to have if say you have an intro and an outro or you have some effects that you use a lot like a subscribe effect comment below effect um, that's what I do personally so you can see here let's go back to my media pool you just click master and I'm gonna import whatever I want to put in my power bit so for me I want to put this intro okay do it again import media I want to put an outro okay and let's put a subscribe effect so I'll just put this one here and that's the three that we want so all you got to do just drag them to bin click on the next one drag it to bin click on the next one drag it to bin and now we got everything in the bin that we want so we'll come back here and click master and you can go ahead and delete anything that you don't need so select those and click remove selected clips. Okay. Um, now, anytime I want my intros or outros, I can go to bin one and they're in here. So then we can click and drag it to the timeline. Let's say we want the intro to start here. Okay. And we'll bring our outro at the end and we'll put our subscribe effect somewhere right here. I still got to fix the green screen on this one. I have another video for that. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but this is the best way to do it, guys. Using power bins, um, it really helps with your workflow. It helps make it faster. It helps make it more optimized. So um, what I want you guys to do is comment down below. Let me know some other useful things that we can use for power bins. Uh, with all that said, guys, I'm going to close this video out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.